Hey Josiah here and welcome back to another video in this 12 Days of Christmas series. We're just a few days in and uh, I hope you guys are loving these videos so far. Hopefully they're providing a lot of value for you. And if you're watching and it's like, I don't know, August or something, like these videos still apply, these tips still apply. So hopefully you're enjoying this and these are helpful. All right, so let's dive in today. I have nine things you need to crush wedding detail photos, okay? I'm gonna read from my phone because I got them on here. There's nine things, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. So we're gonna go through this pretty quick. I don't wanna waste your time. I've left links to all of these items in the description for you to check out, okay? So first things first, item you need to crush wedding detail photos, ring boxes, all right? Get a variety of ring boxes. You can get these pretty cheap off of Etsy and they come in handy, all right? Really handy because one, they class up your image, they class up the detail photo, uh, and two, brides don't always have a ring box. Most of the time, we're the ones bringing a ring box with us to the wedding day. 90% of the time, we're the ones using our ring boxes because most of our brides don't actually have them. They don't have ring boxes. So bring your own ring boxes, get a variety of colors, and I would say get colors that are pretty neutral in a sense that will match with a lot of different styles. So like emerald greens are great, whites are great, like a navy blue is good. There's a ton of different colors you can get. Maybe like a lavender. Get colors that are gonna uh, match a lot of different color palettes. That would be my suggestion. So I've left a link to some ring boxes that we're using in the description below, all right? Number two, ribbon. Ribbon's great because ribbon means that you can kind of lace some of the outside edge, you can add a little texture to the, to the, the, the detail shot. Uh, ribbon is great, even if you're just adding just a little roll, a spool of ribbon or something, it's not even like rolled out, I'll say, I guess. Uh, ribbon's a great little tool to use for, for detail photos because it'll just add a little extra detail, right? The devil's in the details, is what they say, and so these details for your detail photos will help raise the level of your detail photos. You can get those, that ribbon from a ton of different places. Great place to get them from, high quality ribbon is from kiss.us. All right, they have some great, they have some great detail accessories uh, for purchase, some of which I'll go over later on in this video too. But you can also get ribbon from Amazon or from Etsy somewhere in there as well. Number three, acrylic risers. These risers are helpful because they'll help uh, the invitation stand out a little bit higher above the rest. It means your eye will go to uh, this item instead of another item. It means that you're, um, it'll add a little bit of depth to your flat lay. So acrylic risers are great, they're pretty cheap. Again, I'll, I'll link them below so that you can check those out. Uh, they come in handy. This is one of those items though, if you don't have it, it's okay, uh, but they do add some extra oomph to your, to your detail shot, all right? So acrylic risers, my wife loves using these when she's shooting details, so figured I'd add it into this, uh, this detail list. Number four, Vintage stamps. These are cool little things. Um, I don't actually know where we got ours, but I think probably again from Etsy. Uh, get some vintage stamps. You can sprinkle them throughout the uh, throughout the detail shot, throughout the flat lay. It, it's good to fill in those gaps, those empty spaces uh, using some of these vintage stamps. So I'll link those again below. I'm just gonna keep saying that. Everything I'm <laughs> mentioning here I've linked below, I guess. But uh, yes, hopefully that's helpful. Vintage stamps are pretty cool uh, to use in your flat lays. Number five, wax seals. Again, this is not a necessary item at all. Most of the time we don't include a wax seal in any of our detail photos, but again, it's another item to have that actually just looks great in detail shots. They look great in flat lace. So you can get a wax seal, again, linked in the description. There's a whole bunch of different like probably colors and uh, styles that you can get, but uh, wax seals are pretty cool, especially if uh, you know they have some wax seals on their invitations, all right, or on their envelopes. Uh, kind of ties the two things together. So just having a wax seal in your back pocket in your details bag or something may come in handy. Number six, the big one, right? This is what everybody, honestly, this is an essential item. This is an essential item. Style mats. There's a million and one style mats out there. Everybody's selling style mats nowadays. We use the ones from kiss.us, but there's a ton out there. You can get them on Etsy, um, all over the place. Style mats are great. I would recommend getting, again, some neutral colors, something that's gonna match with a ton of different weddings and, and styles and tones. Um, so we're using like a grayish blue and we use a, like a tannish one. I think we, we only have two that we use and we just kind of go back and forth between the two. Um, and don't be afraid after using these style mats to not use style mats for a few weddings. If you find you have some really cool hardwood or you have some cool texture on some stone, take it outside. What the, what the style mats are good for is giving you a neutral background to practice on and then you are gonna be good at finding neutral backgrounds later on 
to, uh, to practice shooting on, to shoot on when you're not using a style mat. So sometimes we will stray away from the style mat, but most of the time we're breaking out that style mat to shoot these flat lays on. And they come in handy when uh, there is really nowhere good to shoot to shoot flat lays, all right? So style mats are perfect. If you're in a pinch and you don't have a style mat, use a bridesmaid's dress. It's pretty neutral. Set it on a chair or something like that. Drape it on a chair and you can shoot some invitations and, and details on that bridesmaid's dress and it will tie the whole color palette in to, uh, to the wedding day, to the flat lay as well. So that's just a little bonus tip there. Seven, number seven, flowers, whether this is real or fake. So you can get some flowers from, uh, we got flowers from Ling's Moment. Um, these don't look super real, but they do add a little pop of color if we don't have any flowers from the florist. Obviously the best uh, possible scenario is to get flowers from the florist from the wedding day and just tying a little bit of greenery or some bulbs into the, uh, into the flat lay uh, goes a long way in um, just making it look really, really, really pretty. So use some flowers. Number eight, macro lens. Macro lenses are um, not, again, 100% vital, but if you want a close-up shot of that ring, uh, a macro lens is important to get. So we use the 100 millimeter macro from Canon. Uh, it's a 2.8, and uh, this has worked pretty well for us, and it's probably actually the only time we use this lens on the wedding day is for uh, detail photos. So if you don't want to splurge, you can probably get a 50 millimeter macro, and that's a little bit cheaper. Um, or you could probably get an extension tube, like a macro extension tube or something like that, or just don't do macro shots. It all depends on how important ring shots are for your client. If you have a little extra money to spend, you wanna buy a macro lens, go for it. But again, not 100% essential, but will definitely take your detail shots to the next level, all right? Last thing you need, and again, this isn't a need, but this is something that I, I found is, is best for shooting um, detail shots, at least in our style is soft and even lighting, okay? Now, this is, I say this is something you need, and how is it you acquire this? Well, you can bring a soft box like I'm using here. That's a little bit cumbersome, though. Um, really, the best way to do this is being able to identify and locate soft light. If you're shooting in a, in a getting ready room, or you're shooting in a house, or shooting somewhere in a hotel, there's probably soft light somewhere. You just have to go find the right window. So learn to identify soft and even lighting. That way there is just a soft spread of light that is like really making your flat light look natural, look beautiful. And it's, you wanna shoot like product photos. Well, most product photos are shot in really soft, natural uh, looking light. So learning how to identify and maybe even recreate using flash this soft light uh, will be really, really important to making sure that you up your game in the detail photos. So, hope this was helpful. You can find all of the items I just listed in the links in the description. Go check those out, all right? I'm excited to see your detail photos. If this did help you and you are using these tools to, uh, to shoot some detail photos, send me an image. I'd love to see what you're creating using these tips. Send me an image or, or um, a DM on Instagram, at Josiah Blizzard, I've linked that below as well. I'd love to see what you're creating using some of these tips, all right? So, we have a bunch of photos left in this series. Huh, a bunch of photos. We have a bunch of videos left in this series. I hope you subscribe, click that bell so you're notified when we release them. One video every day for the next couple of days for these 12 days of Christmas. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video thus far. I'll see you tomorrow for the next video in the series. Take care.